Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, April 16th. Wait. Yes, Tuesday, April 16th, 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, you can go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below, yes? Um, so like I said, this is a general reading, so this is not specific to anything, love, career, sign, whatnot, whatever. This is just whatever spirit wants to discuss with us today, yes? Okay, okay. Yeah, I believe that's it. Let's just get straight to it, guys. I hope everyone had a, a, at least a decent Monday. Mine was pretty good, actually. Not gonna lie. Alrighty, <laughs> let's get into this, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, April 16th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, kids. Let's see what we got. Tuesday, April 16th. Whoops. Ooh, try that again. Oh, goodness. My shuffling skills are not so on point this morning. <laughs> Tuesday, April 16th. 2019. We'll give you this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for today. Also, guys, keep in mind that just because the message is coming through today doesn't mean it's something that has to be going on today. Okay, this could resonate at any time. So if you watch this, I, I'm, I'm Spirit's really pushing me to say this today, but um, if you're watching this like today, say, or whatever day you're watching it, and it doesn't resonate, and then you leave, set it aside, and then sometime later on, you're guided to come back and it resonates then, there you go. Okay, just keep that in mind. And also, if you're watching this after the day that it was posted, then and it's resonating for you, then that's just when you were meant to see it, okay? Time is an illusion, space is, it is an illusion. <laughs> And these messages are pretty timeless. Yes? Yes. Okay. April 16th, 2019. Let's see what we've got for today. Tuesday, April 16th, 2019. The star. You know, we don't get that card often from this deck. It's beautiful. Okay, give me just a second here, guys, because we have some other things that have... Okay, overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. Mm. Threesomes, you say? I'm just kidding. I'm totally just kidding. <laughs> Although, if you want a threesome, I would say, hey, why not? Do your thing, boo boo. But anyway, um, I'm trying to make it a little brighter, but I guess that's as bright as it's gonna get, y'all. Okay, awesome. So we've got the three of pentacles here. Now, often, for at least for my readings, three of pentacles represents uh, self mastery. But this could also be teamwork. We could be talking about a situation at work here for you. Um, maybe uh, like a teamwork situation, um, a partnership, a creative partnership. Uh, 
the Star, the Knight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune are all out here. And look at this. We don't, I don't, I really can't remember the last time I've gotten this card while doing these morning re coffee readings. Isn't it such a beautiful card? I love it. The Star is about wish fulfillment. It's also about healing. The Knight of Swords. We have a little bit of a... <laughs> Okay, so we either have a bit of a hasty energy or we have someone that's very witty, um, maybe a little abrasive um, in their communication skills here. Now we've got also the Ten of Swords, the Fool, and the Three of Wands. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So we have someone here, we have someone here that could be really moving very quickly towards some sort of change in their lives. Um, now, I, I say they're moving, they could be moving quickly because of this Knight of Swords energy. Okay, Knight of Swords, just moving very quickly. Um, but this is in a defensive manner because I do see the Knight of Swords as kind of like, as like a guard dog sometimes, or like a guardian, um, a bodyguard, something like that. And there is a bit of a defensive energy here. Now it makes perfect sense because, um, especially if you take this in line with the previous readings that I've been doing for morning coffee over the last like we'll say two weeks, um, you know this kind of lines up very very well with we'll say like what the feminine energies or uh embodiments we'll say are going through lots of deep healing and big change like really strong change here with the wheel of fortune also <clears throat> the ten of swords we have a 10 10 situation here many of us have been seeing 10 10 quite often lately okay so in in the beginning like on the surface, what this is what what this is saying right now is that we have a really strong healing situation and moving on, and this really could be uh, a three of the, the three of pentacles. In this case, could be um, the energies of self mastery. One has reached a level of self mastery in order to take a take a stride in a new direction now it's funny though because it's not necessarily really all that new of a direction here okay because also um down here with the ten of swords and the fool you have the three of wands and to me this three of wands energy is talking about you're on the right path you've been on the right path the whole time um Anything that you're going through right now is really just part of your own personal journey. However, you do have a brand new start that's coming into play here with the Fool. Um, and this absolutely definitely feels like an energy of taking a leap of faith, um, embarking on a new endeavor. Now, when I'm, when I'm saying get, having a new start, it's not that you're, you're starting a whole new path. It's that you're reaching a new chapter on that path, yes. And you're taking, obviously, you're taking the storyline of the past with you, but hopefully it's only in forms of the lessons learned. Like I've been saying, um, I said it a few times last week, you cannot go into this new cycle, into this new chapter with a ton of baggage from the past. Ten of Swords, all right? So... A lot of the, I, I really also feel like this defensiveness here or this uh, guardian or bodyguard, guard dog, however you want to see it, this type of energy here with the Knight of Swords is definitely helping protect you from that past. Like, okay. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Many of us in the... Um, We'll say that have been experiencing the twin flame and the uh, uh, the twin flame journey. Um, there has been a bit of a resurgence of the energies between the twins. Um, there may have been a heightened amount of telepathy. Um, communication may have 
been have may have flared up again in whatever way that that um manifests or for you right every this this is all this is general so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't but for some of us it has been questionable because it's the same type of communication from the past or the same type of energies from the past that were manipulative, um, maybe even narcissistic, f quite controlling, um, and that kind of thing. And so what I'm seeing here is with as you're moving forward and also part of this self-mastery that's going, that, that's um, being cultivated here with the Three of Pentacles, you're having to defend yourself to, to keep those energies at bay. Be like, look, no, no, we're changing this karmic cycle, the Wheel of Fortune. We are changing this karmic cycle. I am leaving all of this behind me, Ten of Swords, and I am taking a leap of faith. I'm moving on in a new direction. I'm starting a new chapter in my life with the Fool, and I'm continuing on my path, Three of Wands. And there are people that are going to align with you on your path in this new vibration. Three of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, The Fool. Okay? They're going to meet you at this new vibration. So I do want to say, continue to defend yourself. Now, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to put anybody on like on guard or anything like that, or maybe even more guard than you already are on. And when I say defend yourself, I mean just just defend yourself from the toxic and the narcissistic energy. If someone is coming back into your life um, and you know they've made a new start as well and they're willing to work with you and say, okay, I understand that you're not just going to take my word for it. Let me prove it to you or let me show you or you just feel different. You know that they're different and you're willing to move forward with them. By all means, please do so. But if someone is coming back into your life and is or even if it's not someone new, maybe I'm sorry, maybe even if it's not the same person, maybe it is someone new, but it's the same type of energy if that energy is still coming into your life you have to be the one to stop it knight of swords okay and do this healing that is needed surrounding that with the star okay now i am also picking up that there's some sort of new energy in a work situation here but again that could just be a, a a situation in which you know you're you're aligning coming into alignment with new sets of people through your work in self mastery three of pentacles okay but there's great change this wheel of fortune here i actually do want to clarify this one specifically once we get into that part which actually we're going to get into that now but i want to clarify the wheel of fortune specifically because um, in these collective readings lately, you know, there's been a lot of energy of changing the karmic cycles. Whether that mean jumping off the hamster wheel of an ongoing situation that just doesn't seem to progress, or changing the karma within that situation, right? Yeah, all right guys, so let's get into the clarification now. Do, 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 do. Um, so you know what? Wow, I'm like really happy. Do you guys see this? I'm really having trouble shuffling today. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna start, I wanna start with the Wheel of Fortune. And I was thinking maybe I should do the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords together, but I don't wanna confuse the energies because I really just wanna talk about this change in the karma of your life or the cycle that you know you are experiencing now also i didn't i forgot to mention this before but this bottom row here the ten of swords the fool and the three of wands those fell face down okay so that might be something that's a little hidden from you right now 
And so what's on the surface, what's really quite apparent is the, are the energies of the star, the Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the healing, the wish fulfillment, some sort of dreams coming true, um, facilitated by some sort of massive karmic change, yes? All right, one more shuffle, and then we're going to... We're going to clarify this Wheel of Fortune here. Please, Spirit... Just a wee bit of clarity here for this Wheel of Fortune. Let's talk about this karmic change, please, Spirit. Yeah, Page of Wands. Okay, Temperance. Ooh, ooh, Judgment in reverse, however. Okay, okay, that's enough. All right. Underneath the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. Ah, nine of Cups. All right. So... This is very interesting. You have, we also have the Knight of Swords again with the Page of Wands. Okay, so what I'm picking up with this is there is a, there's a karmic change coming into play here because someone has learned a lesson, Ten of Pentacles, come into a greater form of balance. This, uh, with temperance here was probably really quite patient with the whole situation and made a judgment call. Now the judgment is in reverse here. So on the surface or, or immediately what you can say is the judgment was, in, was not in favor of the karmic cycle continuing. Thus, there has been a rejection of said karmic cycle. And what I'm getting from this judgment in reverse um, and I'm really wanting to read this carefully with judgment in reverse because that just feels like it, it feels very, very heavy. It feels very big. Okay. So what I'm, what I'm getting from this judgment card in reverse is that in terms of this karmic cycle, I keep wanting to call it a hamster wheel because that's probably what it felt like for you for the longest time. It just felt like you were on a hamster wheel and you weren't getting anywhere, okay? Someone chose to say, okay, look at the situation and say, from a balanced point of view, no less, with the temperance card here and the amount of time and energy and lifetimes even that have been invested into this situation for it to just stay the same. Someone says, absolutely not. I'm turning this around and I'm removing myself from the situation now. Self-discovery. Someone learned about themselves. Someone learned about the situation. Someone learned about another person. But also, someone got some sort of inspiration towards starting a new chapter, moving in a new creative direction. With the Page of Wands and with the Knight of Swords energy, I hear quite specifically and quite strongly, no one's going to hold me back. No one's going to hold me back from this anymore. Period. And I am moving forward quickly. Also, you're able to move forward quickly because you have, in fact, learned the lessons. Ten of Pentacles. Come into a greater form of, or greater sense of balance. Come into a new sense, a new form of alchemization. You know, you've, you've, you've balanced, tempered your, more of your dualistic parts. I hope I'm saying this correctly. And you've come to a more greater sense of a greater whole right within a greater sense of wholeness within and thus you are able to really move forward at almost lightning speed you couldn't you can see the knight of swords as a bit of a lightning speed type energy and it's so funny because i was saying i wanted to clarify the wheel of fortune and the knight of swords together but then i said no let me just do the wheel of fortune because i don't want to confuse the energies well the Knight of Swords came out anyway. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. And then underneath the deck here, you have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is satisfaction. And it honestly, it really does feel very satisfying to be off this hamster wheel. You know, from the point of view that I have here, through the cards, it just feels like 
who whomever has decided to remove themselves from this situation probably feels so much satisfaction relief is the word i'm looking for also but also joy because now you get to start something new you get to learn new lessons you get to go on new journeys that are all aligned with your path okay um okay so this actually is going to be the next card that i clarify here the three of wands um because some of you need help understanding this understanding the fact that you are still on your own path all of this is part of your journey yeah all right let's clarify this three of wands please spirit also wow wowie wow wow oh Yep. Okay. Um, excellent. So you have underneath the deck, you have overall energy for this. You have the nine of wands. Okay. What I was going to say first, um, you have threes here. This is between these two. Well, now we have three, three, three. Okay, we had 33, which is the three of wands and the three of pentacles, Thirty master number 33. But now you have, what is it, grand master number 333? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. But you also have the three of swords here. All right, so there's a lot of help from the ascended masters in this situation. And like I said, look at here, looky, looky here. You're starting, you're starting a new chapter. Okay, I wouldn't necessarily call this, especially since, especially since we're talking about your path that you're walking, um, and Spirit is saying a path of enlightenment. I wouldn't call this a new book. It's not a new book. You're starting a brand new chapter here. Page, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Books or the Ace of Wands. Okay, um, it has a lot to do with heartbreak here. Three of Swords, but let's see what else we've got. The Hierophant, ah, and Justice. Yeah. Um, so this is okay so this three of swords energy this is a good thing it is a good thing i know it doesn't feel it didn't feel like it while you were experiencing it now that you're looking back on it you're probably like god that was that really all that necessary but yeah it was it really kind of was um because you learned from it okay and now justice is being brought into your life through you continuing on your path so whatever you're doing to reshape your path to start a new chapter in your life to take some sort of new leap of faith and go in a direction that is more resonant or and or pleasant to you that brings justice into your life and also i really want to say that it's um, a higher awareness with the Hierophant here, the learning that has come into play. Uh, many of you, well, I guess I should say many of us that are on this path, that have been walking this path of enlightenment, if you have come to this point of view where you're removing yourself from the hamster wheel of this karmic cycle, this karmic drama, this play that just keeps playing out over and over and doesn't change, you understand it from a higher point of view. You recognize that you can, in fact, absolve yourself of the karma of the situation and move on to something better that is in greater alignment with you, is in greater alignment with your authenticity, and also gives you opportunity, opportunities to learn new things. It's the higher point of view, we'll say fifth dimensional point of view, that allows you to say, okay, I've had enough of this. This isn't working. I'm going to move on. Now, now, either you're moving on completely onto something new, or like I said in the past, or like I said before, earlier in the reading, you're starting a new uh, you're starting a new fresh cycle within the same situation but that really can only happen if both parties are willing to do so and so and not to say that that's impossible it's definitely happening it's definitely possible but 
um, just take it as it resonates. Just because we're saying, like we're talking about, you know, starting something new, closing out a karmic cycle, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't mean that everybody's moving on completely, okay? Just want to put that out there. Finally, you have, well, not finally, because you have the nine of wands that's underneath the deck. That's the overall energy here. It's a sense of perseverance, okay? It does kind of mirror or go up, fall in alignment with this knight of swords energy in the sense that you're, you're defending as you move on, as you move forward. You know, defending yourself from any sort of toxic or narcissistic energies that still might want to tear you down. Yes. But then finally, you have the sun that popped out and flew right onto the star here. Okay. So for many of you, it's like you can't really, see, you can't exactly see where you're going. You have a good idea of what the destination is because you are, um, you're following your intuition, you're following your gut, you're following that, that tiny speck of light that just feels beautiful. You, you're in alignment with what you want or you're working on maintaining that alignment with what you want. So if you're having any sort of fear or apprehension because you don't know exactly where you're going, you can't really see it, don't worry about it. The sun is here. Number one, to shine and to illuminate the path forward, but also number two, to let you know that everything is going to be just fine and dandy okay now for some specifically i'm picking up that the sun is saying y'all can just try next time it's gonna be okay you can just try next time or maybe you can try this time maybe you're getting another opportunity in this life to try who knows either way no regardless of how it feels on the surface deep down understand that everything actually is going to be fantastically fabulous yes okay so now i'm going to close the reading with a card from the crystal manzala deck zalling <laughs> all right Ooh. all right spirit Best message, please, to close out today's reading. One more shuffle here. All right, here we go. Best message, please, spirit close out today's reading. Thank you so much, Spirit. There it is. Card number 13, Archangel and Adnashio and uh, Tiger's Eye. Tiger Spirit Rises. Card number 13. All right, 13 is a number of death, change, transformation. It's often an unlucky number, but I actually happen to like the number 13. Funny story, I used to live on 13th Street in apartment number 13, zip code 10003. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Okay, anyway, <laughs> here we go. Um, we bring you the gift of the Tiger Spirit Rising. You are being empowered with a truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what opinion and logic can contain. It needs to be free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, your divine fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love, to refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed loving heart be free. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to break away from systems based in control and fear. As your tiger spirit rises, 
you excite and empower the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild divine spirit beyond, I'm sorry, being the wild, okay, let me say, <laughs> let me try that again. As your tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild divine spirit being they are in truth. My, 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 that does seem to fit quite well, don't you think? Alrighty, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. <clears throat> I hope you guys have a fantabulous day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.